Hello everyone, and thank you for joining the Oklahoma Venture Forum podcast. I'm Dennis Spillman, and today I'm joined with... Jeff Price from Oklahoma City University and Relevant VR. So Jeff, tell me a little bit about yourself, what you do. I am a professor of gaming and animation at Oklahoma City University. I also do projects um, in VR through Relevant VR, and we work on everyday projects for training, for uh, entertainment, for education, so a little bit of everything. How long has this university program existed? I've been actually teaching for 30 years myself, mm -hmm. but our program is relatively new. We started this last summer, uh, the summer of 2019, and uh, our first uh, group of classes were offered this fall. Last nice, fall. that's exciting. Yeah. So what's it like being part of this new program? It's not my first time. I've oh. uh, been a lot of times being involved with uh, starting up new uh, programs, especially in emerging media and electronic media, web design and all that. So um, it's, it's, it's very exciting. You know, it's always fun to see the birth of something and, um, and how that grows and all the, you know, the hard work that we're going to put into it. And I think from the past, we've had a lot of success. So I, I expect a lot of success at Oklahoma City University. So tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about today in your presentation. Today, we're going, to, we're going to be introducing sort of the fundamentals of VR and what VR is all about and virtual reality and augmented reality and even mixed reality and what the differences between those are. Uh, a little bit of the history of virtual reality and then applications that people may or may not expect uh, for, for the future for virtual reality and augmented reality. Tell us a little bit about some of those applications that they may not expect. I'm sure, well, um, you know, once again, a lot of people probably have not, they've, they may have seen virtual reality on TV. Maybe their kids have played it at their school. Eventually, all entertainment is going to be affected by uh, virtual reality, and that's sort of the, the obvious one. Um, what they probably don't realize is that, you know, in the future, uh, while they're at work, there might be training that involves virtual reality, or there might be something where, um, in the future, Apple's coming out with a new pair of glasses that are augmented reality. So. You may be able, if you have some really exotic sports car, to actually fix the engine yourself, something like that. What would normally cost thousands of dollars to do um, through your augmented glasses, be able to, to do those repairs yourself. So that's... I'd be quite excited being able to put on some glasses <laughs> and like sort of guide me to how to fix my own car. I would be quite excited about that. Right. But what are you personally excited about? Like, yeah, well, I you know I'm obviously in the video game industry. We um, I also am the esports director at Oklahoma City University. So just you know all the opportunities for student athletes to train with augmented reality and virtual reality, all my students to to create these uh, exciting worlds or maybe even recreate the past. There's a lot of exciting technology that's going into just documenting buildings and um, in artifacts and things like that. So that really interests me the most. Oh, especially recreating the past and kind of, I've seen some of that stuff with some video games. And it's just like, man, it's just, it's, it's exciting to see it some is. places that you, you can't really see anywhere else, especially it's so expensive to travel. Yeah, I'll give you the perfect example. We have a pair of uh, HoloLens, Microsoft HoloLens glasses, and one of their demos is Machu Picchu in Ooh. Peru. And um, I actually, went through that several times on the demo and then actually traveled there and I had this weird experience like I had been there before. <laughs> oh, Just because, yeah, yeah, it was. It was because, you know, I had spent so much time in the augmented version of it that I was familiar with places to go and things to see. And so that to me is uh, really that that opportunity for people maybe that are even homebound to go someplace different, you know, would be really exciting. So let's talk a little bit about Oklahoma. What's great about being a business and entrepreneur here in the state? Well, Oklahoma um, over the past several years has really established itself as a technology hub. And I think that's one of the really exciting things with some of the businesses that are going on. And my students have really great opportunities to graduate and, and get a job doing the things, you know, creating virtual environments and, and animation. And, and, you know, you who would ever think that you could you know, make movies, you know, 3D animated movies in the middle of Oklahoma City, but, you know, there's there's companies that are doing that, and my students are, you know, in those companies working, so that's really great for me. Well, b before we go, is there anything else you want to share? Any wisdom, advice you, for the future? Um, I, I guess it would just be embrace the change. I mean, that's uh, really my motto, is that sometimes it's it's difficult to look at new technology and and not be bewildered by it, but you know, you just have to jump in and try it. And 
you know, even if it's with rudimentary tools, you know, things that you can get on the internet or whatever, I mean, you can download an augmented reality application on your phone and start, you know, playing with it. So it's, that, that would be my thing is just jump in. All right. Well, thank you for your time to chat with us. Thank you very much.